That's a challenging last name. Skritz Pijinsky. Skritz Pijinsky. I hope I said it uh, respectfully. <laughs> Questions, Jacob says. Finally, I have managed to catch you live. <laughs> what? Did you want to catch me dead? I'm glad that I'm not. But you could have, you could have, if it was a few more days and worse cold than I have right now, I could have been dead. You would have never caught me. So, so you, <laughs> I hope you will feel good soon. Thank you. I appreciate that. <clears throat> I guess I would feel good. Uh, good or bad, depending on the question that is coming up. <laughs> what is the best way to deal with raising a child? Ah, two-year-old after divorce. Ah, with wife. How this can affect child? Okay, listen, that is not a difficult question because I have a video that I made a few years back how this can affect child in the future and that is the best way for this kind of situation thank you oh jacob yes i know it's polish last name but i don't know if i pronounced it close enough it's chris it's chris pozinski it's chris chris Pajinski. um i have a if you go on my youtube channel i can't put the link here but when I finish and it it's reposted this this Q&A live talk on the on the on the page I can use my laptop and then put the link of that video that I have in my YouTube channel for you at your question here and then you can look at it I have two videos made for relationship with the ex after divorce and how to treat each other how to interact with each other and interaction with in regards with children after divorce in front of each other and how to how to make this um, transition and how to interact with children when you have divorced and with your ex in regards to children so that would be something for you to to perhaps um, Take a look and see if there's something useful there. Otherwise, short it along in here, I can say, is to focus on the loving and caring ways to bond and interact with your child. Make sure the child is benefiting from both parents, you and her. Just because you guys are not together, he or he shouldn't he or she shouldn't be feeling that something is missing in his life so make sure both will spend enough time equal time with the child um, and have a certain policies together that you will not try to replace his mother by another girlfriend and she will not try to replace you for him by another boyfriend at some time and if you observe these you will keep that safety and warm feeling and loving feeling and protective feeling environment that the child your child is growing up in feeling that he has mother and father and they are both interacting properly with each other with care and love even though if you guys don't like each other even if you guys hate each other that's personal but when it comes to the to the child you must create a loving environment so the child will grow and develop with love and feels that love not feels the hate of the parents feels the love of the parents for him and cordial interaction with the parents so the child will feel safe not physically just mentally and calm that there is nothing wrong so he can focus on learning and negotiating with his challenges in life otherwise he'll be worried about you guys and about him what's going to happen to him 
if these guys are doesn't seem like to have a good energy between them he will feel rather agitated and imbalanced okay um, I will send the link as, as soon as we finish here and now I go on with Elise's a recent study revealed that the kid rather be living with separated parent than an unhappy family so good luck and best wishes for the kid uh, well yeah it's, it's always important for a child to have good energy around and that good energy cannot come from discomfort between the parents just sit down with your wife ex-wife and say listen okay we understand we don't want to live together for whatever reason I love you you don't love me you love me I don't love you whatever you did this I did that however we both know that we do love him the child so let us have certain kind of a policy that will give us the freedom that we want but give the child the kind of environment that he deserves and should have because after all we are his parents not my next girlfriend and not what your, your your next boyfriend and don't let us not to try to portray that yeah you know this guy now is you know is your family or this girl now that I is my girlfriend is your kind of uh, no don't fall for that shit all those relationships whether they last long or it doesn't last long it is not the father it is not the mother and don't interfere with the child's safety and security and what he prefers he prefers and he's entitled to a good mother and good father it doesn't matter if they're together or not a good mother and a good father that doesn't mean they should be married it means a good mother and a good father and the mother is your ex and the father is you you guys talk it and make sure you understand this therefore no one else should come in and try to play that role and confuse the child and no hanky-panky should go on in front of the child present in that home in other words if she wants to go on a date or have a someone over it should be when the child is with you and if you want to be with your girlfriend in, intimate or whatever it should be when the child is with his mother so the child would not be witnessing that especially at this early on age later on years later it may be different but keep the respect for the child's right in that and that will be a healthy upbringing